Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate the new features of Cloudberry Backup 5.6. So the latest version packs a number of highly requested features that will enable users to enhance the backup automation and performance. And so with that in mind, let's get to the first feature, which is hybrid backup. Now, if you follow the industry standards, you know that you have to perform at least one local and one cloud backup. And with that in mind, our users usually choose to set up two different backup plans, one to the local storage and one to the cloud storage. And that, of course, is not very efficient in that you have to perform encryption twice, you have to perform compression twice, and also you have to perform twice as many disk operations because the files are being copied from your main computer to the local storage and then from your main computer to the cloud storage. With hybrid backup, we've changed the game a little bit and now you don't have to perform all those operations twice on your main computer because now your files are being copied to your local storage, they're being compressed once, they're being encrypted once, and then once they're compressed, encrypted, and copied to your local storage, then they are uploaded from your local storage from presumably a NAS storage all the way to the cloud storage. And that way you have to utilize half as many disk operations on your main computer, which is very neat. So to set up a hybrid backup plan, you gotta launch the backup wizard by clicking files or by utilizing the control B shortcut. And now you see our redesigned backup wizard, which basically allows you to select whether you want to use local or cloud backup or opt for the hybrid backup. We're going to select hybrid backup and click next. Now we're going to select our local storage and then we're going to select our cloud storage and from there the setup process is basically the same. You set up your the name of your plan, you can set up compression and encryption and so forth. And again, the compression and encryption will only happen once when the files are being uploaded to the local storage and the already compressed and encrypted files will be uploaded to the cloud and that way you will utilize substantially less CPU and overall workload on your main computer. All right, the next feature we're gonna talk about is what we call backup chain. Now, as you know, Cloudberry Backup already allows you to automate your pre-backup and post-backup actions. So you can perform any common line operations that our software supports, such as launching a plan, setting up an account, performing a consistency check, or something like that. And with Cloudberry Backup 5.6, we take things further and enable you to select a plan that will be executed right after the plan that is being created will be executed. So you can select the backup chain checkbox, as you can see here, and then you can select the plan you want to be triggered right after this plan is being executed. We're gonna select, for this example, photos. And then you can specify whether you want to execute the photos backup plan regardless of the backup result or only if the backup has been successfully completed. We're gonna select regardless of the backup result and just continue setting up the plan. Once done, launch the plan and right after it finishes, you should see that after desktop files, the photos backup plan should automatically execute. And that's the essence of chain backups. The next feature we're gonna talk about is the support for encryption and compression for Google Drive and Amazon Cloud Drive. Now, many users choose to use these cloud storage services because they're very cheap. And in the case of Google Drive, they're even free of charge. So with that in mind, we have enabled compression and encryption for these cloud storage services. So when you set up your backup plan and reach the compression and encryption step, you can enable compression and up to 256 bit military grade encryption. And so if you have these features enabled, you can be sure that your files are being stored securely and inaccessible to third party malfactors. All right, the next feature is the support for Minio cloud storage service. If you're using Minio, now you can back up your files well to Minio. Many users choose to use Minio because it's very easy to set up. It's really just a few command line commands. And also it is an open source software that is free of charge. So that should be very interesting to people who want to deploy their own cloud storage uh, without going through too much hassle. And so you basically set up Minio. It's a very easy process. You can check out their documentation. Uh, it's very comprehensive. 
And once you have that set up, you can add your account in Cloudberry Backup. So you can then specify your access key, secret key, service point, your bucket, and just click OK. And that way you'll have your Minio account set up. And then you can specify Minio is your backup destination of choice in the backup wizard. Finally, we're going to talk about a small improvement that we've made to Backblaze B2. From now on, we support the block level backup for this cloud storage service. So if you're using Backblaze, you can be excited and jolly because now you don't have to upload your files fully when they're being modified. You can just upload the modified chunks of those files and that way you'll have a much swifter backup. So you just select this checkbox when setting up a backup plan and just perform your backups as usual. All right, so these are the new features of Cloudberry Backup 5.6. If you want to learn more about each feature in detail, be sure to check out our blog that has comprehensive coverage of all our new products and new features. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.